Hello. This is Fame Zelina Harper, and um, I uh, wanted to make a video as a response to A33 on uh, making collages. And um, I love her method of doing that. And just a couple weeks ago, when I was watching some videos on collage, you know, there's so many kinds of glue out there, and they're like, use this, and go buy that, and it's eight dollars a jar, or whatever. And I'm thinking, back when I did this in the 70s, didn't we just use, like, white diluted Elmer's glue? <laughs> and, you know, that's what she uses. And um, she said her collages have lasted on, on wood, magazine pages on wood, basically, for 20 or 30 years. So, you know, I'm going back to the old school way, at, at least for this video. And uh, um, I have not a great stash like she has in her cabinets, but I have uh, some old calendars I've been hoarding. So uh, here's some of my stuff. And uh, this is like wrapping paper, calendars. Um, and I'm going to actually make the collage on wood. I have this very cool um, wooden palette that I got at the art store. And actually they had these on special for 99 cents with the idea that um, people would do original art and bring it back and display it up on their, their wall. And of course, so I bought five since it was a good price and I was going to take something in to display and then I never did it. So I've been tripping over them for six months. At any rate, this is the perfect project for that. And uh, so I'm going to cut out some designs and uh, make a collage. Alrighty. Here I am cutting around a butterfly. And I, I believe that's a monarch butterfly. And now I'm just putting glue on here, and uh, glue on here. Okay, I'm gluing it down onto here, and uh, I'll cut that hole out in a little while, but for right now I just want to get it glued so it has a nice background to glue other things onto. So. Hi. I can already tell that I've picked things that were big and it's too big for this little piece of wood. So I'm going to have to go back and find some smaller stuff too. So I may not be able to use the butterfly, but I'm sure it'll be lovely whatever I pick. If you, I don't know if you can see this air bubble right here, but if you do get an air bubble that you can't, you know, go like this and get rid of, you can poke it with a straight pin and then squeeze the air out of it. And, you know, other layers go on top of this, so I'm not going to worry too much about a bubble here or there, because it's just going to get covered up in the next layer anyways. Well, I got the butterfly on there after all. So, um, in the bottom corner, I ripped off the excess paper, and uh, one thing about ripping instead of cutting is it leaves a very flat, tapered, gradual edge. Um, when you cut something, it leaves a thick edge, which kind of makes it a little problematic to glue down. So um, you might want to tear some of your pieces or burn the edges or something of that nature. I am actually going over the top of these with glue as well. And I'm not left-handed, so <laughs> somebody has to hold the camera. I 
as you can see, it is getting dark out, and um, I need to let the glue dry anyway, so I will do more later. But um, this is what it looks like so far. And uh, dealing with the little idiosyncrasies was tricky. The back um, had curves out, curved edges, and then I had this whole thing to worry about. So um, <laughs> it's been a challenge. Just for the record, if you're going around a corner, thin paper like gift wrap works a lot easier than thick paper like um, cardstock. So, yeah, we found that out as we went along. All right, so I will see you in a bit. Here I am the next day, and you know it's good to uh, sleep on it, as it were. Let your art sit a few days, or overnight at least because that gives your subconscious mind a chance to mull things over and decide if it's okay just like it is or if you want to add more elements. And before I even went to bed, I already knew what I wanted to do, but I wanted to add another piece here. And I want to do something like this. Um, part of the job of doing a collage is you want to control which elements come forward towards you and which ones go away from the eye. And because this is so white, it's taking away too much of the uh, focus. So I'm going to tone this down. I'm going to um, add some paint elements to continue this design over here. And uh, just, you know, do a few more special things. Got my paints, um, just acrylic paint. I try to do everything water-based so everything, you know, plays well together. Or if you're going to go with oils, you're going to have to, you know, use oil-based type cleaning products. So, you know, think of that through before you start. And uh, I'm going to glue that down.